Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Abo, and today we are talking with Lior Levser Cars, who is the founder of La Boite, a biscuits and spice shop here in New York City. Now, Lior, you've been published in so many different publications, such as the New York Times, Vogue, and Style, but tell us how your spice story started. I had the great pleasure of working with somebody who's very well known in the spice business, and he really opened my eyes to the possibilities when it came to spices. It took me 12 years to understand what he was talking about, but when I decided to do something else with my life, I decided to devote it to spice blending and spice trading. And you grew up in the Galilee in Israel. Did cuisine play a big role in your childhood? <laughs> the cuisine played a big role in my childhood to understand that this was bad cuisine. It was a lot of mush, oversalted, overcooked, over sweet, over whatever you wanted. And uh, I discovered that there is actually great food. Once I stepped foot outside of the kibbutz where I was born, I discovered the great complexity of what Israeli cuisine became nowadays and really developed this great passion for produce, products, spices, and great food. And then in 2002, you took your love of spice blending and your understanding of it to New York. What did you do first? I wanted to express myself in a bigger way and started playing around with baking cookies and spice blending. And that was the birth of La Boite, uh, blending spices, sourcing the best possible ingredients, and really helping both professional chefs and home cooks at the same time understand that spices are something that you cannot live without. I know you want to bring your love of spices all over the world. Tell us what you are doing in the Galilee. Since I went to cooking school in the mid-90s and there were not many options back then in Israel, I always thought about uh, this idea of building something in Israel, this great culinary academy. I had the chance of meeting the team over at JNF about a year or so ago and present them with my project and they loved it and really decided to join and, and work all of us together. So the idea was to build this culinary academy in Kiryat Shmona. Obviously a cooking school and pastry and the, the, the things that seem obvious, but one of the things that seemed important to me throughout the years is that what if we can expose young men and women who want to join this beautiful culinary world to food writing and advertising and design and food science and technology so that they get more chances to succeed in this culinary world, not just cooking, which is great, but perhaps not built for everybody. We also want to build it with the community in Kiryat Shmona and the kibbutzim and the moshavim around it. So everybody has this sense of ownership. We are looking at location, writing a business plan to see, you know, how the school could sustain itself and, and act like an independent uh, culinary academy and uh, recruiting some talent and so on. So we're in the early stages, but very, very excited to get this going. Lior, thank you so much.